Let's dig into substrates just a little bit. Can you go into, uh, you know, I guess number one types of substrates that can be used and any type of specific requirements related to the different metal products that we're using today? Sure, good question. So most of the metal shingle products do require solid decking. Now, it gets a little messy because there are a few out there that can also be installed on battens. And a lot of times in a residential application, they'll still have solid decking underneath that, but the battens are more for the fastening of the system instead. But then when you get into standing seam, especially a structural standing seam, or you get into the exposed fastener products, which of course are used a lot in the agricultural, the pole barn industry, those can go over battens or purlins or some sort of space sheathing um, quite easily. And, and that's pretty frequently done. The important thing with all of these is always to make sure that the contractor is hearing to manufacturer instructions for that panel, as well as whatever building codes may dictate. Great advice. So when you sell a metal roof system, typically you are selling very premium quality, high quality. And for many, and high performance. For many years, when 30 pound felt was our un, only underlayment we had to choose from, we didn't talk a whole lot about underlayment because we just didn't have much we could sell there. But when titanium came out with high performance underlayments that work very well under these metal systems, then we could start talking about underlayment. So I would say that pretty much every metal roof that gets sold anymore underlayment's part of the conversation with the property owner. I mean, it's not just a given, it's not just something you gloss over. It becomes a specific part of the conversation. And there's a couple reasons for metal roofing manufacturers that we really care about that underlayment. Uh, one, obviously, is we want a high performance underlayment that's gonna perform as well as the roof system. And certainly the property owner is interested in that as well. The other thing is, a lot of times these metal jobs, you know, they don't go up real quick. You don't put up a metal roof typically in one or two days. It may be one or two weeks. It could be even one or two months. And so we want to make sure that we have a, an underlayment up there that's going to keep that structure protected and dried in well, and also an underlayment that's going to stand up to the foot traffic during that process, because that's a lot of trips up and down the roof surface over that extended period when the roof is being involved or being installed. So tell me a little bit about Titanium's lineup of high performance underlayments. You got it. And I agree with you hundred percent. I mean, your secondary, your, your roofing product itself is only as good as a secondary uh, roof covering, which is going to be your underlayment. So when we're talking about the lineup that we have here in front of us, um, our Titanium portfolio, you're looking at the, the X30, and then we have our UDL 30, our UDL 50, and then our most premium product, which now we're, uh, we're going into the self-adhered underlayment, is our PSU 30. All premium products. The thing to remember when we're talking about these products and this lineup is really four things. Yeah, first is durability, walkability, exposure, and then high temp. Those are really the four keys to remember. And let's talk about each one of those for just a second. When we talk about durability, this product, a, a synthetic or a self-adhered, comparing to like the old school felt underlayments, uh, it just, we just don't tear. This product doesn't tear um, as opposed to the old school products. Walkability, with our titanium products, we have the patented Surefoot technology. So whether it's in wet conditions, dry conditions, awesome for walking. Um, and then we have exposure, which is huge. You mentioned that, hey, sometimes these jobs don't take a day or two or three, they may take two, three weeks or even longer. And with this entire lineup here, the exposure rating is 180 days. Oh, good. So again, really premium product uh, for metal specifically. The last thing is high temp. And so all of these products, again, are rated up to 240 degrees. Um, and why is that so important? Specifically with metal, as you know, it can get really hot. And so we want to make sure that we're using a product that's going to, um, you know, go up to that 240 degree temperature uh, without having any negative impact to the underlayment. 
So you're not gonna have any type of asphalt bleed out um, or any negative consequences with using any of these products. Excellent.